Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and I have on my red sweater because we are doing Christmas cards for Stamps Mail Club in November. And the stamp set that I'm going to teach you about is called Signs of Santa. It has Santa and his elves and Mrs. Claus. And then there is also a set of coordinating framelits which coordinate with all the pieces. And the card that we're going to make features some of the other pieces from this um, product suite, designer series paper and so forth. And so let me show you. It's a spinner card. There's the front of it. And one of the things um, that's really fun about this is this front panel here. So when you open it, so you could open it this way, but when you open it, there's actually a string on the inside there. And Santa and Mrs. Claus will wish you, wishing you everything on your list and more. So really kind of a fun um, showcase for all these pieces. And I have some tips on using Stampin' Blends for you and then also some tips on using some of the pieces from the designer series paper um, on this. And if you haven't had a chance to order yet, um, this fuzzy white here is actually the um, velvet paper which is really great as a part of the snowflake showcase that's available only in November. So grab your supplies for a Stamps the Mail Club kit and let's get stamping. Okay, so we're going to pull our pieces out and your card stock is the Poppy Parade, which is the um, just fun featured color from the set. And then uh, it is already die cut for you using the Layering Ovals Framelit dies. So there's two die cuts. There's the die cut here from the card and then there's the smaller layering die cut, which is going to be our um, spinner element. So the great thing about the framelit dies is they have a whole host of sizes here. So you can mix and match and get exactly the size that you want. So I am going to start here. We're going to um, just kind of get our easy part. The card for this is just regular card size. Um, so it's eight and a half by five and a half and scored in the middle. And then just that centered oval. And then this is the designer series paper with the flocking on it. Uh, let's see, can you kind of see how dimensional that is? Really pretty and a nice thing to cut up and use in small pieces. I mean, you could use giant sheets of it, but it a little goes a long way. It's kind of like glimmer paper. So um, think about cutting it up. And then those sheets that come in your DSP package will last you a really long time. Um, and nice, too, that you can mix and match with all the other papers from that designer series paper because all the colors are color matched. So um, let's see. Then we have our discs here. Oh, here we might as well put these on. So these are using the velveteen paper, which is available in November. And so it's like a, a lightly flocked paper. And if you're trying to figure out which is the velveteen side, sometimes it's you know, if your hands are cold, sometimes it's hard to tell which one's the fuzzy one. Um, one side is kind of true white, the other side is a little yellowy. So the yellowy side is the back. And I'm going to put Stampin' Dimensionals on these. And I love the mini Stampin' Dimensionals for this um, purpose because they're so tiny. And they fit great on these. So I'll get these on here. So if you've watched my video tutorials, tutorials before, you know I don't usually wear... Um, my nails like this. So this is kind of a fun crafting experience for me, is figuring out how those work. So if you have uh, suggestions for me um, or hints, be sure to post them. So I, I kind of like having my nails done, but uh, man, it crimps your picking stuff up style. So I guess it's a good thing I have my take your pick tool handy. Okay, so I'm going to um, ink up our stamp. And on one side, I have Santa. And so I'm going to make sure, a great thing about photopolymers, you can see through the stamp and see to make sure that you got a, enough ink on there, that your image is really well inked before you stamp it. So I'm going to put Santa here on one side. And then we have Mrs. Claus on the other side. And she's kind of looking um, to that direction, so I'm going to put her on this side here. So we have our two people. And then Santa has the first part of the message, wishing you everything on your list, which is cute, right? Because he's holding a list in the image. And then uh, Mrs. Claus has and more. So, and you could write a little message on here or you could write inside your card if you choose to do it that way. So lots of fun possibilities. And then um, here on the inside, I didn't do this on my sample, but this, the inside of this card is, is so blank, so it clearly needs something. So I'm putting a little, um, 
a little present there. All right, so now we are getting set to color and we have our Stampin' Blends and these are alcohol-based markers and I have um, Petal Pink and Poppy Parade to match our pieces. And the sweet color um, for this is actually Garden Green, but I like Call Me Clover. So that's the color we're using for Stamps in the Mail Club. I just love the intensity of it. Um, to go along with Poppy Parade. So for our coloring, um, I am going to start off with the um, Poppy Parade and we'll do Santa first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush tip and I um, have discovered that I really like to do a uh, blah blah blah. I really like to speak English. <laughs> I really like to start off with a line of dark. So this is the dark poppy color. His little arm is going to be shadowed back there. And then after I've laid that dark on, then I'm going to go back with the light. And I am going to color in the rest. And then um, because they're blends, I'm going to blend along that line, that transition line. So see where it goes from dark to light right there? I'm going to take my light blend and I'm just going to go back. And the alcohol in the ink sort of resolubilizes the color. I know, science words. Um, but that actually is the technical term. I know I joke about that a lot, but uh, it resolubilizes the color and lets you move it around a little bit so that you have kind of an even transition there. And we'll give it just a little extra there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go um, back here for Mrs. Claus and I'm gonna do kind of a similar thing. I am going to go ahead and color sort of um, like her apron string has a shadow under it and maybe the bottom corners of her dress and certainly under the where her apron sits and maybe a little under her arm and under her where her collar hits her dress okay those things are going to be shadowed and then there's actually a couple little berries in her hair and then I'm going to take my lighter one and go back and do the same trick that I did on Santa I'm just going to Go ahead and fill in the rest of the space, and then I'm going to take the marker and I'm going to run right, sort of a circular motion right along the edge of that boundary between the light and the dark to kind of smooth that. And you just kind of want to work that color in there so that it evens out the transition. Okay. So over here, you can kind of see where those are pretty even. And then, of course, if you have the color blender, oop, if you made a bloop like that, you can go back with the color lifter and add that, um, get rid of that little mistake. I love this thing. So here it is. It's kind of like a bleach pen, um, but it's not bleach. It's alcohol. And it just lets you mush out that color mistake. See how that is disappearing there? Pretty cool, right? So, yeah, definitely a good thing to have handy um, when you're working with Stampin' Blends. And then, let's see, we need to do our heart here in the center. I kind of missed, so I'll add that. And then, um, I know I said I usually do the light first, or the dark first, but we're just going to go over that. Okay, and then let's see, she needs a little holly in her hair, and it's such a tiny, tiny spot that I am just going to go ahead and use my dark and not worry too much about shading. Okay, and you have a bullet tip and a writing tip, or bullet tip and a drawing tip on these. So you want to just use the one that makes you happiest, the one that you like. And then I'm going to go back with my Stampin' Blend and give them a place to stand here. So this is the light of the clover. And I'm just going to make it look like she's standing on a patch here, kind of shadowed. And yes, I know that they're, it's probably not grassy at the North Pole, but we're going to give them, um, we're going to pretend they have. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know. Do they have green linoleum, green flooring at the North Pole, do you think? Because they're still making their list here. Um, maybe they have AstroTurf. Might we keep the reindeer happy? Like, they clearly need to eat. I mean, Rudolph eats grass, right? So anyway, okay, so they're looking, um, they're looking a little pale, though. So we're going to go back and give them some skin tone. And I'm going to use, um, this is the dark of the petal pink. And we're going to color Santa in there, color his hands. And you can see how that just really brings him to life, having that color there. So going from that pure um, background tone, I'm going to try and avoid her glasses, to that um, a skin color gives us, it just sort of brings those 
people to life. So, all right. So there are our two Christmas characters for this card. And then we got to put our um, card together. So, and again, if you're doing, oh, I didn't give them rosy cheeks. Okay, I'm going to use my light um, red and I'm just going to give them just a teeny bit of little rosy cheeks. Santa too, I think he needs some rosy cheeks there. Okay, and I use my light for that. If you um, are using the dark ones, that's fine. You would just color um, all in dark and it's beautiful and color matched and the reds are perfect together. Um, so either way is fine. So for this, what I'm going to do is take my tear tape again. I am going to put tear tape across the top and the bottom of both of these and then I am going to put my string across them. So we'll start with Santa and you'll notice um, when you use Stampin' Blends that that um, pigment blends or sinks into the paper. That's normal for them so don't panic about that. I'm going to take my string, so the green and white baker's twine, and layer this across here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Mrs. Claus piece and I'm going to sandwich that string in the middle between these two layers um, with a string kind of equal on the top and the bottom. So we have them there. Okay, and then this is going to be placed here. Now, it's a lot easier to place if you do it um, in the front. Just make sure that you don't put Santa um, and Mrs. Claus upside down in the front of your card because that's not as much fun. <laughs> Okay, so layering, like I just said, the, the direction you need, you can kind of check it to make sure. And kind of see where you're going to go. You should have string on the top and the bottom. And then I am going to actually put the tear tape on the back of these um, punch Call Me Clover piece. This punch is called the Classic Label, um, and it is a great word window kind of punch. If you don't have it, it's fun for adding greetings to the front of your card. Um, it's just a great shape to have on hand. But we're going to use it here as sort of like a, um, a holder spot. And I have that tear tape on the back and I'm going to um, string up our greetings. We're not stringing up Santa. We're just stringing our, our spinner element. And I'm going to stretch it just a tiny bit in there. Okay, so that now we have our spinner element set. So there in the front of our card is this fun little swing panel. And you can kind of wind it up before you um, send your card. But if you go for, if you leave it spun for too long, it, it won't necessarily unspin. But for short terms, it kind of pops back and forth when you open it. So a really fun spinner card, easy mechanism, great Stamps in the Mail Club project for this month. Make sure you order your kit soon if you haven't yet from lovenstamps.com. I look forward to stamping you through by mail and sharing some other projects with you. Make sure you also look for the video tutorial on my pop-up card, which I was going to show you. Oh, here it is. Uh, pop-up explosion box card, which is this guy here. So this tutorial is coming soon and also the matching notebook, uh, which makes a great holiday gift. So anyway, happy stamping, happy holidays, and I look forward to sharing more projects with you soon.